what's up guys i am on skybound 2 it's finally time skybound 2 is open it's up ready to play it's like really late for me it's actually my birthday right now it's like really late and i'm really tired so i've just come on to record something real quick i've just come on to record this intro i'm just gonna make my island so i can invite my friends so they can get started and then i'm going to bed and i'm gonna film the rest of this video tomorrow so the first thing we need to do is create an island with is create starting to create an island process creating an island create your island sending you now that island was not active attempted to activate now this should not take long what does that even mean? Oh, there we go. Oh, wh why am I falling? Your profile has been loaded. And I'm just falling. Okay. What is happening? Okay, choose a template. Island template selector. So, template classic. Experience skyblock in its natural form. Obtain a single island with a single tree stocked with a cobblestone generator. Interesting. Template basic. Slightly larger sized island with more to offer. Obtain a single island of mineable resources stocked with a cobblestone generator. Template advanced. Medium sized island with more to offer. Includes a multi tiered island with slightly more resources, more trees, more ores, more land. And then these are the premium ones. We can't get a premium one. Pro. For those skilled in the art of Skyblock, provides a 5x5 five five platform of grass upon cobblestone. Nothing but minimal resources and open air. See, I feel like we should go for that one. I'm going to go for classic. Generate an island, please wait. I've been so excited for this, guys. Skybound's one has gotten so boring because it's just, it's just, I don't know, I've played it so much, it's just gotten boring. So I've been really excited for Skybound's two. The server, it looks like it's going to be so much fun. So I'm really excited to play. And I don't know how long this is going to take. Hopefully, not too long because I'm really tired and want to go to bed. Okay, it's probably being slow because there's a lot of people that have just logged on because it literally just opened like minutes ago. And they're getting on to create their island. So everyone's created an island. So that's why it's taking so long. Okay guys. So I'm now on my island. That took like forever. But I am here on my island. It's a cute little island. Nothing too amazing. But it'll do for now. We can expand it. So we've got a chest. Should we have a look what's in it? I can't open it. Oh yes I can. It's just laggy. It won't always be this laggy. It's just um... The server just opened so everyone's trying to like make islands at the same time and it's just it's just making it really laggy but it won't always be like this so yeah i've just got a chest that has nothing in it is it gonna yeah there we go so we've got enchant book unbreaking one enchant book fortune one enchant slot stone enchant scroll blade fury one lava bucket water bucket and oak logs so we're going to leave them in the chest for now because we don't need them. So we're going to start off by doing slash challenges because, wait, if I show you, I can't talk in chat right now. You must complete the lumberjack challenge in order to talk in chat. So to do that, we do slash ch and we've done the first challenge, begin adventure, tasks, make an island. We've got 250 stars for it. Now the second task, lumberjack, chop 10 logs. And we get 250 stars and three saplings. So if we go to the tree, I don't know how easy this is going to be. It's going to be very laggy. Okay. Yes, this is going to be extremely laggy, but we're going to try our best. We're just going to do this challenge for now. And then I'm going to go to sleep. Well, I'm going to invite my friends to the island and then I'm going to go to sleep. And then I'm going to come back tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be as laggy. And I'm going to record the rest of this video. So guys, as you can see, I've invited two of my friends onto the island. We've got Drongo and Basic Potatoes. Because me and my friends are going to be working on this island as a team. Um, to grind and hopefully get this a pretty good island. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy seeing my friends around. And working with them on the island. They're all pretty nice people. I was thinking about playing solo, but this doesn't really look like something that you can play solo. Well, I'm sure you can play solo, but like, I don't know. It. I feel like it's gonna be way more fun playing as a team. So, yeah. Okay guys, so our island just hit level two. Ducky is now level two. Upgrades, mining coal, ore seeds unlocked. Farming wheat unlocked. Utility, ability to place redstone. Which is pretty nice. We've almost done this challenge. We need like two more logs. 
Though he is now farming level 3. Nice. I don't know what these guys are doing. I think... Um, oh wow, that's crazy. I think um, Potatoes is probably farming wheat at spawn. Which I'll show you guys that later. Slash. There we go. Completed Lumberjack. Next challenge. Green farm. Plant 5 saplings. Okay. Slash CH. So... We've done that one, which means we can now talk in chat. There we go. As you can see, they've all got the beta prefix. So if you played beta, or if you like logged into beta, I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure if it's just if you logged in, you get the beta prefix. So if we do slash prefix, we have the beta prefix. Also, like the prefix, we have slash symbol, and we can get the check mark. So if we talk in chat, we have a check mark and beta. Which is pretty cool. Okay guys, so Drongo just bought top rank, which is pretty cool. Um, no idea what you get with it because I haven't actually looked on the store yet. But he got some boost gems. And if I do slash boosts, I already have one. Um, from where I played beta, I got one for playing that. So I am doing the island boosts, I think. So there's Warzone, Island, and Player. So I think I'm doing this one. And then I'm gonna use this. How do I use it? Like that. And then I'm gonna do boosts. It says I have two available gems once. So I'm gonna do that again. So we've boosted that two times. That means we now have vanilla hopper transfer rate two times items or seed respawn time 50% faster, which is pretty cool. I've got a few more things. I've got home unlock tokens that I think he got with his rank. Adds the ability to make one more home. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna use these. We now have three homes and then we also have unlock a new vault to store your most precious items. So if we claim this, how do we get a vault? Is it slash PV? There we go, we've got one player vote. And if we do slash mailbox, we have three saplings. This is like your drop zone. If you played Skybounders 1, you know you have a drop zone on your island. This is like the drop zone. It goes to your mailbox. So if you do just slash MB and then, yeah, you can get that. Put the saplings in there and the wood in there because we don't need them right now. It looks like someone has messed up. The cobblestone generator. Drongo. I bet that was Drongo. Anyway, that can be fixed, hopefully. We've got another lava bucket. It's fine. But yeah, I'm going to let them fix that. And they're going to do some grinding whilst I'm in bed, probably. Because I'm really tired. So yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. I will be back, which will be like a couple seconds for you guys. But it'll be like a whole day for me. But I'll be back tomorrow to do some grinding. To record the rest of this video, show you guys some stuff around spawn, and yeah, you'll see in the rest of the video. Okay guys, I am back. It's been like a whole day since I've been on, because I've been busy today, so I haven't been able to play, but I've finally been able to get on, and I've got some things to show you guys. So while I've been out today, and while I was asleep last night, my friends have been working hard on the islands. If we do, I guess, go. As you can see, we've got a big wheat farm, We've got basic potatoes over there. I didn't mean to throw my steak. I forgot I don't have a zoom button because this is 1.14. So basic potatoes. He's been farming this wheat and so is like everyone else. I want to show you guys who's on the island. So if we do IS and we go to members, we've got Drongo. We've got, I don't know how to say that. We've got memes. We've got Blakey. We've got basic potatoes. We've got Mark. We've got Miami. We've got my ult. And we've got Minigun. And... These people, well, some most of them have been working hard today, grinding. On the island, if we do IS top, we're currently number five on island top. If we do farming top, we are number three on farming top, slayer top. We are number 10 on slayer top, slash mining, mining top. We are number nine on mining top and slash crafting top. We are number five on crafting top which is pretty cool so yeah they've been grinding they've been working hard i'll show you some other stuff on the island as well it's not like too much they've done a few things if we go up here as you can see under here we've got our chicken spawners we have uh 33 chicken spawners we have 12 cow spawners and we have three fox spawners if we go up here this is where we killed the chickens we have a slayer bot We've got the cows, the foxes, we've got a mining bot that's mining the iron, we've got some coal, we've got some bricks, and then if we go up here, we have a pasta man, which is like a crafting bot or something, and we've got our furnaces. So yeah, 
they've been working hard they've made quite a lot of progress with the island for this video i just want to like show you guys all the basic stuff um i'll make videos about all the robots and stuff in the future but for now this is just going to be like a quick video on like all the basic stuff because it's the first video of the series so i don't want to go into anything too complicated if we do slash is this is like all the island stuff so we've got your primary island we've got members i don't even know why they added this the amount of times i've almost clicked this like this is the worst thing you could ever have why would you want to kick everyone anyways you've got your skills which shows you like your crafting your slayer your mining your farming and then you can see we've got wheat potatoes carrots beetroot unlocked and then it tells you how many has been farmed today farm total and like i don't know what the limit increase means but yeah an experience next we've got unlock sugarcane we need farming level 35 which we have we need sugarcane farming book which i think we also have and we need island level 13 which we don't have the hardest thing at the moment seems to be money like we're good on everything else it's just making money is kind of difficult but we'll get there eventually then we've got slayer we've got our chickens cows foxes spiders i don't think we can place spiders yet i'm not sure i think it's the next island level or the i think actually i think it's island level 12 and we're island level 10 but yeah it shows you how many chickens we've killed today how many cows um the total amount killed and then the limit increase still don't know what that means and then the experience and then if we go to mining we've got cobble uh, coal iron brick and then the next one is quartz which requires mining level 40 um shows you how much you've mined today how much you've mined total and the limit increase in the experience and then we've got what one didn't i do i've done these i need to show you the crafting so we've got bread pasta chicken noodle soup croutons mashed potatoes and minced beef i think that's what we have unlocked and the next the next one we need silk requires crafting recipe silk i don't think we have that yet so yeah we can craft all these things i'm not 100 percent sure how like all this works i'm gonna have to find out and i'll make a video on it but yeah that's like the skills parkour stat skills islands okay let's go to the island so you can view all your islands i'm only invited to my island um yeah so this will show you any of islands you're invited to then we've got island level 10 as you can see people have been upgrading the island level which is pretty cool the next one is one mil stars which is a lot of money so yeah money is like the hardest thing at the moment so with level 11 we will get one extra island member slot we can use quartz or seeds place up to four mining robots four crafting robots and the spawner limit will be increased by 250 and we can place observers yeah so at the moment we have level 10 which costs 500k and then if we look at level 12 yes uh is this yeah slayer spider spawn is unlocked so we need level 12 to be able to kill spiders so we need like 3.5 mil altogether for that but yeah and then if we go back um these are robots yeah i'm not really sure how these work so i'm gonna have to like ask my friends to teach me about these and then i'll make a video about them and then we've got private island this will change the privacy of your island so if you want people to be able to visit your island you can change that and then we've got upgrades which i'm not really sure how these work but yeah i'll look into these in the future and then we've got that which is a horrible button we never want to press that so yeah that's everything on slash island also i know lots of people have been asking about the whole rank situation if you didn't know nothing from skybounds one transfers so if you have a rank on skybounds one it doesn't transfer to skybounds two but if you have a rank there you can get a rank on here for free so i'll put on the screen now what rank you can get with what rank you have on skybounds one if you go to the savage games forums there's like a thread about this or whatever you call it i don't know how to use the forums i don't know how stuff works but yeah if you go to the forums you'll find it and then you have to make a ticket on the new forums so i think the old forums is savage games and then the new forums is skybounds and then you make a ticket request or something and then prove that you have like with a screenshot or something you prove that you had a rank on skybounds one and then you can get your rank on here 
if that made sense. I don't know if that made sense or not. So if you're confused, ask a staff member or something, or check the announcements in the Savage Games Discord, because uh, I think Lauren posted something about it there. But yeah, I'm really bad at explaining things, so I'm not the best person to explain this, to be honest. But anyway, so I went onto the forums, and I did all that stuff. I uh, made a ticket request thing and showed. I should prove that I had a rank on Skybound's 1. So now if I do slash packages, I now have... This, it says, Eternal, purchased December 13, 2019, which is today. Left click to accept, right click to decline. I don't want to decline it. This is where you can claim your Bycroft packages and get your rewards. So yeah, this, it says Eternal because I have Eternal rank on Skybound's one. But this should be, I think it's the Sun rank. So yeah, I'm going to left click this. Thanks for sticking with us, Skybounds 2 is going to be lit. By the way, Lake says hi. Well, hello, Lake. He's never going to watch this. But anyway, um, if I do slash symbol, with the sun rank, you get the sun symbol. So now I have the check mark and the sun. Which one looks better? I kind of like the check mark. It reminds me of um, Skybounds when you prestige and you got the check mark for your first prestige. Then I also kind of like the sun. I think I'm gonna keep it as the check mark for now. I don't know. I might change it in the future. Yeah, because if you look in chat, the check mark is green and then the sun is yellow. I kind of like that the check mark is a different color to the beta tag. So yeah, I'm probably gonna keep the check mark for now. So if I do slash boosts, this is where my gems have gone. If you have a look here, I have a total of five gems, but I've already used two. So I have three left, and I got those three from. The sun rank that I just got for having eternal. So I already used two on my island, which is kind of annoying because I have five in total. So if I didn't use them on that, I would have been able to get flight. But I don't need flight right now. I can always try and get it in the future. And this, if I spend it on island boosts, it will like help my whole island and everyone on it. So I think I'm gonna spend them on this. So now I'm gonna buy vanilla hopper transfer rate four times items. And I'm going to buy all seed respawn time, 100% faster. And then I'm going to buy skill XP boost plus 25% XP. There we go, maximum boost. Now I just got to save up five more so I can get flight because I really want to fly. So if we do slash kit, we have a kit. Um, I have the sun daily kit. Contents, spawners 1 to 2 based on stair level, or seeds 1 to 2 based on mining level. Stars note 50k to 100k based on island level, XP border 2400 based on island level, and warzone items 1. So if we click it, we're going to claim the kit. We got spider spawner, a zombie spawner, or seed iron, a 78k star note, 1000 XP border, another 1000 XP border. So if we claim the money note, but yeah, so don't forget guys, to collect your kit. You can collect it every 24 hours, so don't forget because it gives some pretty good items. And obviously, the more you upgrade your skills and your item level and stuff, the better the items from the kit will be. Okay, now we've done that, I think it's time for a tour around spawn. Because spawn is beautiful and I have to show you guys. So, if we have a look. Just like, look how well built it is. Everything just looks amazing. So this is the spawn, this is like, all the welcome stuff and the information. Look how cool. Sky bounce. Sky block. That looks so cool. And like the balloons. And oh my gosh, this is amazing. All right, where should we go first? Should we go over here? So over here is, I think this is the parkour. Yeah, the parkour islands. There's a parkour over there, but we'll take a look at that later. And then if we go over here, so you can see like the hot air balloons. So that is for mining. That's for uh, farming. And that's for Slayer. And then, yeah, so if we go over here, so we have the mining islands. There's no PvP on these islands, by the way, which is pretty cool. So this is mining island cobblestone. So if you bring a pickaxe here, you can, I think I have one on me. Yes, I do. You can come down here and you could mine the cobblestone. And it will also level up your mining skills, which is pretty cool. And then I know there's some quests around here as well. Like there's quests all over spawn. But I'm not going to get into those today. I think I'm going to save them for the next video. These are the mining islands. So it's just like those ones. But this is coal. So if we run over here we can mine some coal. Also can we just talk about how beautiful like every island looks. Like look at that building. It looks so nice. 
Okay, so if you, as you can see here, we can mine coal, which is pretty cool. So you don't you don't have to just mine on your island. You can like mine at spawn, which I think is cool. And then we've got mining islands, iron, and it just keeps going. So if we go back to spawn, if we go this way now, if we go along this bridge, I love the spawn, but I do think it's like a little bit too big. Like. I can easily get lost here and it takes forever to walk somewhere. So look, as you can see, people are f uh, farming the wheat here. So yeah, this is the farming island, you can farm wheat. Also the farming limits, they apply here as well, unfortunately. If you hit your farming limit, it also you also can't farm anymore here. If you come over here, there is some potatoes that we can farm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to farm them, because I don't know if we've hit our limit yet. I can farm them. Right, there we go so yeah we can farm potatoes here and then if we go over here we've got the carrots and then it's beetroot and yeah it keeps going and then if we go back to spawn again and we go over this way this is the slayer islands if we go across this bridge and need my sword for this slayer islands chickens so there's gonna be loads of chickens here that we can kill as you can see the chicken spawners, we can just kill them, get their feathers and eggs. And like I said with the mining, and it's the same for the farming and slayer, it all goes towards your skills and yeah, which is pretty cool. As you can see there's, is his name Scar? I assume he's like a quest guy, but we'll, we'll do the quest in the next video. So we've got Slayer Island cows, and then it'll probably be foxes, and yeah, it'll keep going. I'm not going to walk all the way over there because it's really far. But yeah, so that's spawn. Wait, there's one more place I want to show you. So, we've got, we've done, I've showed you those places. There's portals over there, but they like, don't do anything yet. But here is the shop, the market. So this is the market. I think the market looks so cool. I love the market. I'm going to show you my favourite thing about the market. So it's just got like shops and stuff. Do we have slash shop? We do. So you don't have to come here. It's just if you want to. But yeah, it's just got all this stuff in it. You can see all that stuff in slash shop. But my favourite thing about the market is this. They have dolphins. Now, you can't tell me this isn't like the coolest thing ever. We can literally swim with the dolphins. Okay, guys. So I'm back on my island. We've got some friends with us. we got mini... We got basic potatoes and I think Miami's there. Yeah, here he comes up the ladder. So yeah, they've been working hard on the island. Um I wanna show you guys some a few things real quick. So if you play Skybounds one, you'll know on like the tools and the swords and stuff, you had like slay, you had rage, you had um reserve, crush, like things like that. And you also have the, them on here which is pretty cool. So as you can see, power selected, sword storm. Power selected, rage. I haven't used them yet, so I don't know what they are like. But if we have a look, we also have it on the pickaxe. If you shift, right click, we've got crush and we've got reserve. I'll show you crush right now. So if we do this, it's like crush on Skybound's one. It's pretty cool. You can just crush the coal. So if we do slash ch, we're going to get some challenges done before we end this video. Because there's quite a few challenges, and the first ones are pretty easy. So we've got plant five saplings. We can do that. We just need to find the saplings. Actually, if we do slash MB, which is mailbox. No, we took them out of the mailbox. But I'm sure there's some around here somewhere. Maybe in here? Yes. Let's go plant some saplings. There we go. Next challenge, cobble miner. Mine 64 cobblestone. We can do that. I've got my pickaxe. We need to mine 64 cobblestone. Um, I'm not sure what happened to our cobble generator. We used to have one here, but yeah, I don't know if it got moved or if they got rid of it. So we're just going to go to spawn and we're going to go to the cobble island and we're going to mine some cobblestone there, which shouldn't take too long. And nice, we just got mining level 27. Someone's doing some mining on the island. Um, Alright, so if we mine one and then we do slash, do we just hit mining level 27 twice. What? That makes no sense, but whatever. We're doing slash skills, no, slash ch. Um, yes, it does count, one out of 64. So we've got a mine, can we mine this again? Yeah, we can, it respawns pretty fast. So yeah, we've just got to mine 64 of these, shouldn't take too long. Just got to mine two more, one more. There we go, completed the cobble miner. Next challenge, 
cheapskate, spend 500 at the market. Can we do slash shop and just spend 500? What would we spend 500 on? Um, what would be useful or what can we resell? Okay, so if we purchase five baked potatoes, we can sell them back for 250 stars. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Completed cheapskate. Next challenge, level up. Achieve item level two. We've already done that. So the next one is next challenge, farmer. Harvest 16 wheat, which we can do. So we're just going to do slash sell hand. Do we have access to that? We do. So we got 250 stars back, which means we only lost 250 stars, which isn't too bad. So we're going to go slash spawn and we're going to go farm 16 wheat real quick. So we're going to go to the wheat islands. We could do it on my island, but it's just easier to go to spawn because you don't have to replant it, which is pretty nice. So we're just going to run around until we've got 16. Kind of have to fight people for the wheat. Right, completed farm. And next challenge, custom crafter. Use a crafting skill table to make 16 bread. So you need three wheat to make one bread. So we need 48 wheat, I think. So I'm just going to farm 48 wheat here real quick. All right, we've got enough. We're going to go to the island, IS Go. And we're going to go up to the crafting thing. You can't use a normal crafting table. You have to use... Can I hear foxes dying? I can. Minnie's killing foxes. Okay, so you can't craft it in a crafting bench. Cannot craft bread here. Use the crafting skill table found in the slash shops menu under both utility and outlander shops. So we have to use this. This is a crafting skill table. Put the wheat there and we do left click to craft items. It's crafted 18 bread. Completed custom crafter. Next challenge, chicken grinder. Slay 25 chickens, which we can do because we've got our chicken farm set up. Okay, I think Minnie's done killing foxes. Finally, because that was getting really annoying. I could have just turned my sound off, but whatever. Let's kill some chickens. There we go. Chicken grinder completed. Next challenge, baker. Sell 64 bread with slash sell all. Okay. So have we got 64 bread or do we need to craft some? We've got wheat, so we can craft some. Will this make 64? Yes, it did. Okay, let's do slash sell all. It sold my food. Oh, it sold everything. I forgot about that. I should have done slash sell hand. Oh, well. Completed baker. Next challenge, full seeker. Visit a war zone. So I think we can just do slash, not slash spawn, slash war zone. I don't think we have to actually go out into it. So we've got slash war zone, random teleport. And then these are like the mines or whatever. I don't know. We'll get to see those in the future. But let's just go to the war zone. We've got war zone one. We put you on this little spawn island. So... Yeah, you don't just die instantly. And it completed the challenge. So next challenge is coal miner. Mine 64 coal. So we can either mine the coal up here or we can go to spawn and mine the coal. We've got... I guess we can just crush this coal. It won't take too long. Here, you can have your feathers back, potato. There we go. If we just crush through these. It shouldn't take too long. There's what, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14 here. So yeah, it's only going to take a few crushes. They don't take too long to respawn. So while we're waiting, if we have a look in the mailbox, we've got some stone armor. We've got 16 potatoes. We've got the pasta recipe. We've got a crafting skill table. We've got a chicken spawner and a coal ore seed. So if we mine this, then we can do this. Put the coal ore seed down. We can also mine that. So yeah, if you don't have much coal on your island, you can go and do this at spawn. It'll probably be like a lot quicker. So also, as you can see, there's not much lag at the moment. Unlike yesterday when I first logged on, there was a lot of lag. But yeah, most of the lag seems to be fixed. There's still lag at times, but it's pretty good at the moment. There's not too much. And the coal has come back. I don't think crush is ready. Nope, but I'll just mine it myself. I only have to mine a few more, I think. There we go. Completed coal miner. Next challenge, adrenaline junkie. Loot five warzone chests. Now, I think I'm going to stop there. I don't really feel like going to the warzone right now because I've been out all day and I'm really tired and I want to go to bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just got on so I could finish recording this video that I started yesterday because I want to get this up for you guys tomorrow. I've also got something in my mailbox. I have a crafting robot. No idea how to use these, so I will be making a video about these once I've learned. But yeah, you guys should totally come and check out the server if you haven't already. It's pretty cool. I know a lot of people have been hating on it, saying it's going to be trash. and But 
from what I've played so far, it's been pretty fun. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys have anything you want me to make videos on, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'll try to get some videos done. Maybe like anything, anything you want. If you want me to do some about the quests or the robots or I don't know, anything you can think of, let me know. And I'll try and make a video on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm nearly at 500 subscribers, which is crazy. But yeah, so thanks for that. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. And usually I would zoom into my face and say bye, but I don't have a zoom key. So, hold on. Controls, controls, controls. Zoom. It's C. It's C. I can do it. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm pressing C. The zoom isn't working. Oh no. Options, controls. Not bound. Oh, that's why. I changed it to Z. Okay, let's try that again. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Wait, 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 wait. I just threw my pickaxe. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, there's one thing I wanted to do. Before I ended this video, I almost forgot. I forgot into my PV. Okay, I have a ladybug. This, I, I went on my alt silent because my alt has like the sun rank 2 and I got a premium island and I got a ladybird head and I thought this was amazing. But yeah, I'm a ladybug. Anyways, that wasn't what I wanted to show you guys. That I just got really excited about that earlier for some reason. I have an ancient rune and haven't been able to grind because I haven't been able to get on. So I haven't had time to get one of these myself. But it's like Skybound's one, you mine and you can get ancient runes. And yeah, I'm going to open this. Thank you to Memes for giving it to me and letting me open for my video. But yeah, we're going to watch this, see if we can get anything good. Okay, so I see some spawners. I saw an iron ore. Um, it's lots of things, so I don't know what they are, but yeah. What did I get? I got a chicken spawner. Nice. I'm going to put that in there for now. Someone can add it to the other spawners if they want. But yeah, okay, that's it. I'm going to end the video now, for real this time. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!